So how do my bod pod results compare to this cheap Brentful scale on the Amazon that's right behind me? Let's find out. Hey all, it's your boy, John Atala, certified personal trainer. And I just finished my bod pod test, and if you don't know what that is, you basically sit in an egg-like chamber, and it measures the amount of air you displace inside of this chamber. The testers take your height, weight, age, activity level, and race, and then plug it into a formula, they'll basically give you an estimate. So this is still a prediction and not 100% accurate. My tester said it varies about 2%, while the scale I use can vary about 4%. So let's check out my results after bulking for over a year now, and being the heaviest I've ever been in my life. So let's start with the bod pod results first. I weighed in at about 183.6 pounds at 67 inches tall. This gave me a body fat percentage of 13.8%, which is a lot leaner than what I was expecting. So my meta resting metabolic rate is 1900, which is really great. So if you guys don't know what that is, resting metabolic rate or RMR, is basically the amount of calories you use without doing anything while resting. So if you sat on a couch all day, did nothing, your RMR is how many calories you would burn during that period of inactivity. So let's compare this to my REMFO scale. And the difference between the scale and the bod pod is the scale uses bioelectrical impedance compared to the bod pod, which is basically air displacement. So bioelectrical impedance is when you stand on the scale, it'll send a signal through your body and it'll measure the resistance that your body is providing to the electricity it sends. And it sends a very small amount of electricity. So your muscle holds more water. So in, in essence, if it goes faster through your body, you have more muscle. And if it's slower, you have more fat. The REMFO scale uses bioelectrical impedance, which I weighed in at 185.8 pounds. And I was wearing my pants during this weigh-in, so we can subtract a pound for that. Despite that, the estimate was still pretty close. The scale gave me an estimate of 16.4% body fat, so about 2.6% higher than the bod pod, and it gave me a very similar BMR, which is 18.92 calories, so really a minuscule difference. I also actually took an extra test for fun at the gym. They have another tool that uses bioelectrical impedance, but it's handheld. On that one, I got 15.1% body fat. It didn't tell me my RMR. Overall, I'm really satisfied with the scale in the app, so I am including an affiliate link in the description below. I do get a portion if you purchase through Amazon, which would be greatly appreciated. So, all in all, very convenient, and the numbers weren't super different from the bod pod, and the RMR was almost spot on to the bod pod, which is really incredible for a $30 scale. Now, I understand we're still comparing estimates to estimates, but if I had any advice to give, just choose one way of tracking yourself and stay consistent with that tracking method. For example, if I used the scale and then I went to the bod pod a month later, I could have thought I got much leaner and gained a ton more muscle while staying at the same body weight. In reality, they were just two different tests. So make sure your tracking methods are consistent because it will provide you much better results and help you gauge where you're at. And I'm going to include an Alan Thrall video in the description where he shows all of his results across multiple testing methods similar to here, and their variations from each other. So overall, really awesome tool for $30. And again, I have an affiliate link in the description. And I do plan on getting another bod pod scan when I lose 10 to 20 pounds, depends how I feel honestly, to compare my results once again. And if you guys did get some value out of this, please consider subscribing down below for real muscle building advice. I will never cheat you or give you stupid advice I don't believe. And I look forward to talking to everyone in the comments. Peace.